it's Dr. Trish Lee from the Neurofeedback Expert Program. I'm super excited to spend just a few minutes with you today talking about the Neurofeedback Expert Program, primarily the five most important aspects of adding neurofeedback to your practice today. So let's get started. First of all, I'd like to share my background with you. Um, I have what I consider to be a PhD and a half. Uh, my first PhD, my primary degree, is in child language development, actually child cognitive development and disorders too. Then at the same time, I earned a PhD in cognitive science. So for a long time, I've been thinking about children and their development and how their development goes wrong and what I can do to serve and to help them. Uh, at the same time, I have been in the personal and professional development space for a long time also. So the main reason that's important because as we get talking about who we serve with neurofeedback, you want to make sure you keep in mind who you're good at serving. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that we are going to talk about is why it's so important to add neurofeedback to your practice now. And I'm sure you know that this is considered to be the age of the brain. You can't look anywhere without hearing about brain functioning or disorders of the brain. That is just where we are at. So to add a brain-based therapy to your practice is really, really important. And especially for chiropractors, I consider brain patterns that we're going to talk about serving to be subluxations of the brain. So it just makes sense to add this service to your practice so you can provide comprehensive care to your patients. Secondly, it's really important to add neurofeedback now because there's so much evidence, there's so much science that supports the efficacy of neurofeedback in treating a wide range of brain patterns that cause different problems for people. So for example, ADHD, anxiety, pain, uh, and, and the list goes on. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, another reason is if you're serving people in your office and if you're having difficulty reaching their goals, neurofeedback really could be the difference in not achieving their goals for them or achieving their goals for them. So I consider neurofeedback to be a goal booster. And I know and that's a really important thing to me. And as we get to know each other a little bit, I'll tell you the story of how neurofeedback became part of my life full time. And really it came out of frustration of not being able to reach people's goals, needing something else. And, you know, in my mind, I'm just thinking, I gotta go to the source here, and the source is the brain. So when you go to the source, you can affect change, boost your patient's goals, and reach them for them, and that's really important for me. Uh, another thing that is important for me as a mother of six children is to make more money. I want to live, and I try to live, an abundance lifestyle. So if that resonates with you, neurofeedback is a beautiful way to be able to do that to be able to serve people with a brain-based therapy, really help them out, but to be able to charge top dollar for an awesome expert level service so that you can provide for your family uh, really feels good. So, you know, having so many children and trying to help them become the people that they're destined to be, I need resources to do that. So it is just wonderful to be able to help people and to live that abundance lifestyle. Uh, Lastly, and you can probably tell, I absolutely love neurofeedback. People in my office all the time, it's actually comical, ask me if I've invented neurofeedback, which cracks me up because it's 65 years old, older than I am. Uh, so no, I did not invent it, but I'm very passionate about it because it's really fun to practice neurofeedback. I think, especially for chiropractors or for mental health professionals, when we're thinking about a patient's symptoms and then we realize we can take that back to the source and it's neurological in nature, which we will also cover, then we realize we can regulate that neurological function 
it's really fun to think about. So professional satisfaction increases while increasing profitability, having fun, helping people. Okay, number two. There's three critical elements that you need to include in your process so that you can connect with people and to be able to convert people into your neurofeedback patients. The reason this is fundamental is because I've worked with many practitioners, chiropractors primarily, and conversion can be a real stumbling block, and especially conversion at a high dollar uh, amount. So to be able to do that, there's three fundamentals. Number one, you need to be able to let your community know that you really are a neurofeedback expert. So community awareness is pivotal. So what I do and what I'll teach you in the Neurofeedback Expert Program is I have a community awareness calendar schedule for the entire year. And I'm messaging, I'm on point, and I'm teaching people about neurofeedback and especially how neurofeedback can help them with their challenges to be able to improve their quality of life. And I do that in an organized fashion and I do it from my heart and that's something that I will teach you. Another thing is systems. Uh, once we get to know each other, you'll hear me say system, system, systems. I have a system for everything. And of course I can't have a system for absolutely everything, but when something comes up, I immediately make a system for it. And then I make sure the system works, I hone it, I tweak it, and, and I roll from there. So I'm going to teach you all the systems we use in our office, and we have been for a long time, and we've helped many other offices implement, that help people to go from a prospective patient to a happy patient that is making referrals. Every point along the way is a system that feels good to us to be able to do and feels good on the patient side also. So we're going to show you that and again that just feels great. It makes you a neurofeedback expert because your confidence level goes through the roof. Lastly is expertise and I've worked with people who joke that 30 days later they don't feel like an expert and you might not be able to feel like an expert in 30 days but you will have a much stronger foundation to begin to feel like an expert. And of course, the more you do it, the better you're going to feel about it. But you need to know some fundamentals so that you can talk with your patients like an expert, so they believe you're an expert, which helps you believe you're an expert, and it becomes a positive feedback loop from there, helping people to join you in your office and be able to convert to becoming patients so that you can serve them with expert level care so they can refer their friends and family. Okay, number three. The biggest mistake that people can make that you cannot miss out is you need to help people commit. So we need commitment from people and that actually is one of the most important fundamentals in the Neurofeedback Expert Program is every patient in our office is committed to their lengthy neurofeedback program usually before they even join us for care. We have a 100% commitment level. What that means is we have financial commitment, we have scheduling commitment, nobody cancels, and we have commitment to their goals. So that is huge and it makes it fun to be able to practice with people because I'm not recommitting them at every step of their program. They're committed and I'm helping them move through the process, but I'm not recommitting people at every single visit. That's not something I'm interested in doing and you won't have to do that either. So how do you do that? You do that by educating people in a simple way so that they can understand what neurofeedback is and how neurofeedback helps them. And I know it sounds easy when I say it that way, but at the same time, when someone purchases neurofeedback, it's not like purchasing a car. You know, we know what cars are for. It gets us from A to B. People don't understand what neurofeedback is, nor do they understand how it works or how it's going to help them. In this program, the Neurofeedback Expert Program, I'm going to teach you how to communicate those very complex concepts 
in a very succinct and easy way for your prospective patient to understand at the beginning and to grow their knowledge base across the program. Super easy, but super important. And really what you need to do is to educate your prospective patients and then empower them and inspire them to close the gap and to make the change. So it becomes very important and easy to do. Okay, now this is the number one mistake that neurofeedback practitioners make. And you know, I think many different practitioners can make this mistake, but you see it in so many neurofeedback offices. And when I clear this up for people through the neurofeedback expert program, it makes a ton of sense to them. The problem is we try to serve everybody, and in doing so, the message gets lost and we end up serving nobody. And what I mean by that is, You'll see signs in neurofeedback offices that say neurofeedback and then it will literally list 75 disorders that neurofeedback can help people with from ADHD to anxiety to depression to fibromyalgia, like literally running the entire gamut of, of brain-based disorders that affect the mind and the body. Now, truth be told, neurofeedback actually works for all of those things. But you need to be able to communicate to people why, first of all, if you're going to try to do that. But a better approach is to work with your absolute favorite type of patient. Talk to them, get them in. So for me, with my background, my favorite patients to work with are kids that have ADHD or learning challenges, which affect their communication and their cognition, something I've been studying, researching, a student of and a teacher of for over 20 years. Uh, people who have anxiety because as a busy mom uh, and someone who owns multiple businesses, if you own your own practice, it comes with a certain amount of anxiety. Uh, one of my patients told me once that owning your own practice, you sleep like a baby, waking up every two hours in a cold sweat crying, which I thought was funny, but it comes with its own you know, ups and downs. So. Keeping anxiety at bay has been a part of my life, and thankfully I've been able to do that. Helping other people do that is really, really important to me. And the personal and professional development space. I use neurofeedback that way, and I help others to do it too. So I talk about it passionately from my background, my experience, and what I love to do. And I encourage you to do that too. Find the one, two, three people you want to work with, draw them in, and everybody else will come. So don't make the mistake of trying to be an expert of all of those things, of everything. Be the expert in the things that you love to think about and to serve people through. Okay, and the reason you need to do that is it makes your confidence soar. When you know a lot about three things, it just raises your confidence. And when someone comes in with something you know, kind of interesting and funky that I may not be an expert in, I tell people transparently, I don't really know much about this, but I'm going to look it up for you, and by the time we talk next time, I'm going to know if I can serve you and how. And that is what I do, and I'm going to teach you that in the Neurofeedback Expert Program, too. Okay, number five. You have to set yourself up as an expert consistently in your community to have your practice scale and grow. And what does that mean? Again, it goes back to patient education and establishing yourself as an expert in your community. And something that is important to me by providing this neurofeedback expert program is developing that community and being able to use me as a resource in helping to educate your patients and to establish yourself as an expert by springboarding off of the materials that I provide and by the expert level care that I've been providing for a long time. So that's an easy thing for you to do and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so stay tuned because in the next video and in written material too, I'm going to show you exactly what is included in the Neurofeedback Expert Program to take you from novice to expert in 30 days. So stay with me. Thanks.